shows for us today. The first one is Uncle Rye and the Moon. My Uncle Rye lived alone in a small house up in the hills. He didn't own many things. He lived a simple life. One evening, he discovered he had a visitor. A robber had broken into his house and was rummaging, rummaging through my uncle's few belongings. See that robber? The robber didn't notice my uncle, right? And when my uncle said, hello, the robber was so startled, he almost fell down. My uncle smiled at the robber and shook his hand. Welcome, welcome. How nice of you to visit. The robber opened his mouth to speak, but he couldn't think of anything to say. Because Rye never lets anyone leave empty handed, he loved to round the tiny hut for a gift for the robber. But there was nothing to give. The robber began to back toward the door. He wanted to leave. At last, Uncle Rye knew what to do. He took off his only robe, which was old and tattered. See the tatters there? Here, he said, please take this. Bad day for turning pages, sorry. Mm -hmm. The robber thought my uncle was crazy. He took the robe, dashed out the door, and escaped into the night. My uncle sat and looked at the moon, its silvery light spilling over the mountains, making all things quietly beautiful. Poor man, lamented my uncle. All I had to give him was my tattered robe. If only I could have given them this wonderful moon. Your uncle sounds nice, said Andy. I don't think I could have given away my only robe. I know how that is, said Stillwater. But there's always a moon. That was a good story, said Andy. Thank you, said Stillwater, and this is good cake. Thanks, said Andy, I made it myself. And our next story is, The Farmer's Walk. Get a little view of it before we start to read. There was once an old farmer who had worked his crops for many years. One day, his horse ran away. Upon hearing the news, his neighbors came to visit. Such bad luck, they said sympathetically. Maybe, the farmer replied. The next morning, the horse returned, bringing with it two other wild horses. Such good luck! the neighbors exclaimed. Maybe, replied the farmer. The following day, his son tried to ride one of the tamed horses, and he was thrown off and broke his leg. Again, the neighbors came to offer their sympathy on his misfortune. Such bad luck, they said. Maybe, answered the farmer. And there we have the horses. And all the, the day after that, military officials came to the village to draft young men into the army to fight in a war. Seeing that the son's leg was broken, they passed him by. Oh, such good luck, cried the neighbors. Maybe, said the farmer.
Okay, and then our third story is a heavy load. And there you get a little view. Two traveling monks reached a town where there was a young woman waiting to step out of her sedan chair. The rains had made deep puddles, and she couldn't step across without spoiling her silken robes. She stood there looking very cross and impatient. She was scolding her attendants. They had nowhere to place the packages they held for, so they couldn't help her across the puddle. Pretty deep puddle. The younger monk noticed the woman, said nothing, and walked by. The older monk quickly picked her up and put her on his back, transported her across the water, and put her down on the other side. She didn't thank the older monk. She just shoved him out of the way and departed. As they continued on their way, the young monk, monk was brooding and preoccupied. After several hours, unable to hold his silence, he spoke up. That woman back there was very selfish and rude, but you picked her up on your back and carried her. Then she didn't even thank you. I set that woman down hours ago. The older monk replied, why are you still carrying her? That was the story that stuck with me. Sometimes I carry that lady for a long time. And that's the end of our stories. And there it is if you want to get it and read the rest of it. Thank you.